And finally, the international award, again, which is given out for an outstanding and important international contribution to promoting harm reduction. Uh, and again, for many of us in the international community, and I suppose here in Canada as well, our recipients probably need little introduction. Um, you've probably already seen them around filming, actually. It's our great honor to present the International Rollison Award to Peter Sarosi and Ishvan Takas of Drug Reporter and the Rights Reporter Foundation. As you know, Peter and Istvan have been producing groundbreaking advocacy and training videos around harm reduction since 2007, first working at the Hungarian Civil Liberties Union and later founding the Rights Reporter Foundation. Um, they've picked up a handy cam and interviewed experts on harm reduction and drug policy reform, people who use drugs, and how the lives have been affected by the drug war. They've supported NGOs and videos from countries from Romania, Bulgaria, Serbia, and Greece They've done work in Mexico and Indonesia to show the brutality of the drug war. They've been to Russia to gain support for the only existing needle exchange in Moscow. And of course, they did a fantastic documentary on the Insight uh, court case here in Canada. They've trained uh, over 100 activists around the world in the use of video as an advocacy tool to promote harm reduction, drug policy reform, and the rights of people who use drugs. They've produced hundreds of videos online that have gotten millions of viewers. Um, and I say you see them at every event, interviewing people, putting out great videos, and I'm sure at the end of this conference they'll have a video to show some of the highlights. It's a really great honor to give these to you. So thank you so much. Thank you, Rick, and thank you, HRI, for this uh, big honor. And um, I also thank you, the, the participants of the conference, because uh, we, we started to make videos at the International Harm Reduction Conference 10 years ago in Warsaw, and uh, we learned a lot from the wisdom of the people who we, we interviewed. And, uh, you know, 10 years ago, uh, there were only a few uh, activists, fellow activists, who produced movies, and it's, it's really a great pleasure to see now that there are much more activists uh, using this powerful tool. Uh, if you look at the program of the Drug Reporter Film Sessions, you will see that there are as many movies produced by drug user activists as by professional filmmakers. So that, that is a powerful tool to make, to, to give a voice to, 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 to the vulnerable people. It's, it's also a good feeling to come back to Canada. As Rick mentioned, we were here a few years ago making a movie about the struggle of insight against a very narrow-minded government, and now it's incredible to see the, uh, the changing uh, environment. Uh, unfortunately, that's not the case in many other uh, countries of the world. Uh, for example, in my own country, in Hungary, we have a populist leader, and uh, uh, the two largest needle and syringe programs were shut down. So please don't forget those people who are now working in a very extremely uh, difficult environment where harm reduction is in decline. And actually, there is not only an attack against harm reduction, but against uh, all human rights and all the values we share uh, together about human dignity. And um, yeah, thank you very much. Thank you very much. It's really a great honor to be here and receiving this award. Uh, I'm such a lucky person, and I would like to say a few words about how lucky I am. When I was around 14 or 15 and I was thinking about what I want to do with my life, what kind of work I want to live, I didn't really have any clue. And I was thinking that, well, if I can live a life in which I'm not doing harm to others or, or try to minimize the harm that I'm causing and maybe trying to do get good, as good as possible, then I may be living a meaningful life. And then I was so lucky to, to 
to finally getting into this direction. Around 20 years ago, I got to know the Hungarian Civil Liberties Union, and I worked there for, for more than 10 years. Um, and there I was introduced to harm reduction and the philosophy of harm reduction, which, is, which I really liked, because with that I, I, I felt like if I do this, I cannot do any harm and I'm only doing good. And this was all about uh, unconditional help and love and dignity, and that cannot be wrong. Um, and, I'm, and, I'm, and I was so lucky to have met Peter and worked with him for so long, uh, and without him this wouldn't have been possible. We, we worked a lot together. And I was also very lucky that I got to Frankfurt on mine, where I had a friend called Birgit Wichermann Wert, who, who, who was running a needle exchange there, and I could work there for a while, and I could live in a, in a house for people who were, who were taking methadone, and I learned a lot about harm reduction there. And when I got home to Budapest, I was so lucky that I could get to work in a needle exchange program with really amazing colleagues. And at the HCIU, I was so lucky that I had, had uh, our boss, Balázs Dénes, who figured out that why not make movies? Well, let's buy a camera and let's run around making movies. Uh, so it was his idea. Without that, we wouldn't be standing here now. And he gave us enough support and time so that we can play around with all these and, and get to learn it on our own. But I was so lucky that I didn't have to learn it on my own because 10 years ago I got, I got here to Montreal where uh, an NGO called Witness from New York was training uh, activists in video advocacy. So I got a really good uh, ground on which we could build. So that's all luck. But the biggest luck of all is that with Peter, we could, we could move around the world and, uh, and work with you and get to know you. And, and we could fight together for our cause, for, for the dignity of people and for helping people and against uh, the drug war. And uh, I think it, was, it is your light that we are using uh, against the drug war. And I, and I feel like we are, we're kind of documenting our cause. And, and we're, it feels like as if we are documenting in, the me, in medieval times uh, the fight against uh, Inquisition, because it's pretty much like that. When, uh, when a certain amount of people in, in power who take certain kind of drugs hurt other people who are not in power who are taking other kind of drugs, this is pretty much like the Inquisition in those times. So it's a very exciting thing to be a part of something that is fighting this and, 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 and to recording that. And I was saying that, that you, you shed light in that darkness. And I feel like my role, I found my role that I was looking for when I was 15 to live a meaningful life. And I think my role and Peter's role is that we're like a prism in, 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 in the camera that your light is going on it and we're breaking it down to, to uh, a rainbow of colors and we're making it as beautiful as that light is. And uh, so this is our mission and this is what we want to do. And now our new mission is to help others to become that kind of prism. So we are training others in, in using video in advocacy. And we have really great students like, like Alex and Igor who, who will at, at a certain time will be even better prisms than, than I am or than we are. So thank you very much for all the love and light that you're shining on. should say that in addition to making the wonderful films uh, and training sessions that they do, Peter and Istvan have also put together the film festival um, for the conference again this year. And we'll be, we'll be screening the films that they've chosen uh, actually in this room uh, in the mornings and afternoons of the conference. Uh, so thank them very much as well uh, for that, as well as their good work prior to that.